Alrighty, peoples, I've had a hell of a frickin' day. That's for sure. I didn't sleep worth a shit last night. I mean, I really didn't sleep properly. I ended up uh, <laughs> having a long rant video that went from 12.30 at night to 1 a.m. in the morning. Um, just to alleviate a few of me worries so I could sleep. Anyway, turns out with this mortgage, what a bloody bunch of bastards. We're going to pay it outright. Um, yes, it is possible. Uh, it's about $9,000. Um, long story short, I could have uh, sold silver, but uh, my parents have decided they're going to pitch in five grand and I'll pitch in four grand, and then I've got to owe them back that five grand later on. Um, work has increased quite a bit. I went from sitting around whinging about only having a day a week to effectively 12 hours a day, two hours worth of driving, and now I'm doing 10 hour days. Uh, and that's probably going to be all this week and Saturdays and it's yeah, work's really fired up quite substantially. I will probably be earning over $1,000 a week. After tax, in me pocket. But anyway, originally I signed uh, with a small non-bank lender a 10-year loan on the 22nd of December 2010. Now these motherfuckers have decided that... Uh, well, the, it's time for the loan to be wound up. And they've just picked a date and said, this is it. And it turns out it's about five years and nine months. Now, I could understand if it wound up on the 22nd of December this year, because it would sort of equal a full year. But no, they're just, just fucking, here we are, you know, five years and nine months, let's decide that's it. So in between all this shit of having to basically you know, set aside 12 hours a day for driving and work. Uh, now I've got to deal with all this bullshit. Golly, stupid. I was offered a personal loan to cover it all, and then they turned around and said, oh, well, no, actually, you wouldn't qualify for a personal loan because we only take people who have worked in a permanent full-time job for at least six months. And because you're labour hire, it's effectively on a contract basis. So they turn around and said, well, we can't help you. So what they'll do is they'll rip the rug from under you four years and three months before I originally signed. I never signed with this new bank who bought out the original lender. I only signed with the original lender. And they took on all these loans on the basis that they would take them on on the exact same contract that was originally signed by all the customers. But now they just decide they're going to change their mind. So here I am all of a sudden. Uh, we need our $9,000 back. I tell you what, I feel like sticking a spanner straight up their ass. But anyway, long story short, we're going to cover it all and I've got to somehow find more time in my day to deal... <laughs> with one bank through another bank to somehow get all this shit back and hope to hell that I get all this um, land title in my hands. And yes, I will be debt free, but could this have waited till after January the 9th, you know, <laughs> when I actually am gonna have a bit of spare time? I'm gonna be going like a cut snake. I wouldn't be surprised if I'm gonna be working 10 hour days on Sundays as it nears Christmas time. It's already hitting chaotic point level at work already. It's just, and oh, I didn't need this. You wonder where those bastards get off though. You really bloody do. And there are many political people at the moment pushing for royal commission. Like not just a little, oh, we're gonna check it out, you know, and, and whatever. 
a Royal Commission is a sort of investigation that's like a federal level investigation where they go right through the ins and outs of everything. Um, and to appease all these bankers, the current Prime Minister, you know, effectively President, um, told them that they have to give some yearly report. And uh, they just sort of shrugged it off like it didn't mean shit. Uh, but there are a lot of political forces now pushing for a, and I mean quite a few, for a royal commission into the banking system of this country because so many people have the rug pulled up from under them just like I'm having it right now. Um, and there is a particular person who holds the balance of power because it was an exceedingly ridiculously close election that we had more recently. I mean, they literally won by something like 140 votes nationwide. And um, it was so close to the line, it's ridiculous. And the balance of power is actually held by a right-wing group um, who is really anti-immigrant, anti-Muslim, and quite frankly, anti-bank. Um, and I tell you what, I'm going to find out where this bloody petition is that's been written and I'm going to try and get my name on the damn thing too. Um, and uh, it'd be good to see them get the rug pulled from under them for once as opposed to doing it to average Joes who sign one contract and then get screwed up the ass later. But anyway, that's my little random almost home. And uh, yeah.